Hello and welcome to another update video about injective protocol INJ. We can see that um, here on the chart, the price has reacted to the support region. I think I made a video only a few days ago. I could be wrong. Maybe we just covered it in the recent live stream um, that we did a few days ago. We'll see. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So at the moment, anyway, we had a reaction to the previously communicated support zone. This support zone was calculated based on the idea that this is a wave four pullback. And yeah, I mean, looking at the proportions, if you look at the wave two, the length and duration of the wave two, uh, that wave four was definitely long enough. So it could absolutely be over. We start to see some upside momentum. I mean, it's possible that some of these coins are already on the move now. Okay, and then in that case, the next wave up is likely unfolding, which would be here the fifth wave, which should minimally actually take the price above the third wave high. So we can actually add a key level there. So the third wave topped and I'm, you know, I've got the third wave top here on the 9th of January, 10th of January at around $45, just simply because, just simply because this is, um, this is just, it makes sense. Looking at the structure of this increase, it was just too choppy for anything else, really. I mean, I prefer the idea that this was an A wave move down in three waves, overshooting B wave, right? And then a C wave down. We did reach at the time my targets, okay, which is good. And then we had that sell off. So it worked out as, yeah, in you know, according to script, you know, um, not as predicted necessarily because you know I don't like that term and it's not about predictions it's all about identifying okay what are the key pivots you know where can the price react and if this happens then that and with these assumptions and conditions um, trades can be taken the idea is that we had a way for low in place here then okay on the 13th of April we might have seen a low and we could now be in the fifth wave to the upside now Please be aware that there's a highly volatile chart. There's a support area that goes all the way down to $7.60. I'm not saying we ever have to get there, okay? But it means that if there is an extension of this correction, I can go with this wave count um, and call it a wave four, even if it goes down to 7.59. Now, but then what we have to do, we zoom out and take a look and is this really still a wave four then? It would be too deep to be reliable, but I could see potentially another dip to round about 11.62 if needed. For now, because I can technically count this correction completed and because the price reacted to the lower boundary line of the parallel trend channel, um, I'm tracking this correction as completed. Just be aware that the condition, there is one clear condition, a key level that we can now use to focus on higher prices. The condition is that this last swing low is holding and that's the swing low that was made at $22.90. That needs to hold. That's the absolute key level. And this is very much actionable because a break below that level would invalidate the microstructure we're dealing with here. The yellow count allows for interpretation of a larger ABC structure in which this is now a B wave rally and we'd be dealing with an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. So we are looking for higher prices here in the yellow count. At the same time, the rally could be an A wave of a larger ABC structure. No, not of a larger ABC, of wave five. Yeah. Why ABC? Just simply, if we zoom out a bit, you can see that the wave one was an ABC structure. The wave three was an ABC. And the wave five is likely also going to be an ABC. It's just sort of the academic side of it. So I'm not labeling this specifically then for the A wave, but be aware that A waves can be three wave movements or five wave movements. I'd say it's more likely it's a three wave move, but then this would be one, two, three, four, five, yeah, to fill in that C wave of B in yellow or of A in white. Literally what that means is we won't really know what's going on until we get the next pullback, the next move down. If that next move down is corrective, I can give you a new support area anyway. But let's first see if this fills in. This would be a structure should take us to $35 at least because that's the first ideal target for the C wave. And this looks like as if the third wave is now unfolding of wave C of B or wave C of A. That doesn't matter so much. Okay, it really, these counts are now moving in parallel as long as this swing low is holding. 
at around $22.90. So that's the key level from $22.90 to $35. That would be ideal now. There is going to be some more resistance, but I see that as the last key resistance level before getting to $35. Here, this is the swing high that was formed around the 20th of April, and that level is around $29. So that's my update about INJ. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.